Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this topic, you will learn how to set up a new company database using Sage 50's Create a New Company Wizard. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to use the Create a New Company Wizard to set up basic information about your company, define an initial business type and general ledger chart of accounts, set up posting and accounting method information, and set up your beginning fiscal year and accounting period structure. To begin setting up a new company, let's start Sage 50 Accounting. Depending on if a company already exists, the program may automatically load a company. If this is the case, select a file from the menu bar and then close company. The program will then load the open existing company, create a new company start page. On the start page, we'll click Create a New Company to start the Create a New Company wizard. This wizard walks you through all of the important steps that are required to create a new company. The bulleted list of information on the welcome page lists all of the company information that you will want to have available during the setup process. Note that although some of the selections you make during the wizard can be changed after the new company setup is complete, other settings are set in stone so it is recommended that you have all of the required information available when walking through this wizard. Let's click Next to begin setting up the company. On the Company Information page, enter basic company information about your company, such as your company's name and address. This information will be printed on the From and To sections of various forms, such as sales orders and purchase orders. You can also enter the tax ID numbers used to identify your company when federal and state tax forms are printed. The business drop-down identifies your company's business type. It also determines the names and types of initial equity accounts created with the initial general ledger chart of accounts. Only the company name is required on this page in order to continue the wizard. The rest of the information can be added after the new company setup process is complete. Let's click Next. There are multiple methods available to create your new company. The selection made here will determine what options are provided to you as you walk through the rest of the wizard. During this learning topic, we will use the Use a Sample Business Type option to copy basic setup information from a sample business type, including a predefined general ledger chart of accounts. Other options available include copying settings from an existing Sage 50 company and converting a company from another accounting program. Note that this method should not be used when converting QuickBooks. A much simpler, quicker method for converting QuickBooks data is available on the program start page. If you have a custom chart of accounts that you would like to use in your company, you can select the Build Your Own Chart of Accounts option. And if you're using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, you will have the option to create a special type of company that consolidates the chart of accounts of existing companies so that you can create consolidated financial statements. More information about each of these options are available by clicking the Help button at the bottom of the page. Let's leave the Use a Sample Business Type option selected and click Next. On the next page of the wizard, select a business type that most closely matches your company from the list. You can then view the chart of accounts predefined for that business type. These accounts will make up the initial list of general ledger accounts that are used to record the financial events in your business and will include accounts such as asset, liabilities, income, expense and cost of sales, and equity accounts. The simplified business types are based on general industry types such as construction, distribution, retail, and so on. Each one offers a basic chart of four-digit general ledger accounts that you can start with. The detailed sample business types provide a more comprehensive chart of accounts that are tailored for a specific business. For example, if your business is an auto repair shop, you can select the available sample business type on the left pane. To the right, you can then view the sample account list tailored for the business type, which in this example includes many accounts specific to the auto repair industry. If you do not see a sample account that perfectly matches your business, select one that is a close fit. You can always modify it to more closely match your business needs after the Create a New Company wizard is complete. For this demonstration, the auto repair shop business type most closely fits the company we are creating, so we will leave it selected and then click Next. 
Next, you are asked to select the accounting method that you plan to use for your company. If you select accrual basis, the program will record purchases and sales in the general ledger on the day that a sales or purchase invoice is created, regardless of whether the invoice has been paid. Selecting cash basis will instruct the program to record income and expenses only when cash is received from your customers or a payment is sent to a vendor. Make sure you understand the implications of the selection you make here. Consult with your accountant if you are unsure. This selection cannot be easily changed once the wizard is complete. We'll leave it set to accrual basis and click Next. Now you will choose whether you want to automatically transfer transactions from your journals to your general ledger in real time, or if you want to leave the transactions in your journals so that you can batch post them manually. If you are using Sage 50 Quantum Accounting, you will also have the option to use Smart Posting to manage the posting of your journals to your general ledger, which can be seen as a hybrid of real-time posting and batch posting. The posting method that you select here can be changed at any time after you have set up your company. Now let's take a look at setting up accounting periods. Accounting periods are units of time that divide your fiscal year for reporting purposes. You can set up to 13 accounting periods per fiscal year. Because you always have two fiscal years open in your company, you can have up to 26 accounting periods available to you at any given time. Most companies simply select 12 monthly accounting periods in their fiscal year structure. If this period structure fits your business, select the 12 monthly accounting periods per year option. However, if your business is based on another period structure, select the accounting periods do not match calendar months option. Click Next and a page will display where you can modify your fiscal year periods just the way that you want them. On this page, you can define how many periods make up your fiscal year and on what day your fiscal year starts. You can also modify the end date of each period if needed. The company that we are setting up does not have a complicated fiscal year structure. It will use the 12 months of the year to define its fiscal periods. So let's click the Back button, select the first option, and then we'll click Next. On this page, you will determine what the first month of your company's fiscal year is. As mentioned earlier, you can have up to two fiscal years open. In our example, this will equate to 24 open periods, numbered 1 to 24. Make sure that you enter the correct starting date. If entered incorrectly, you will need to walk through the wizard again. We will select January of 2019. Fiscal year 2019 will then occupy the first 12 periods created by the wizard, 1 through 12, and fiscal year 2020 will make up the next 12 periods, 13 through 24. Let's click Next. We have reached the end of the wizard. Let's click Finish and Sage 50 will take care of the rest creating your company database and configuring your chart of accounts and basic default information. The initial new company setup process is complete. This company is now ready for you to enter your records and transactions. To accomplish this, you can use the optional setup guide to set up your company further. Each hyperlink in this guide provides you with a logical step-by-step -step wizard to help you quickly add records and customize default settings for each major area of the program. If you would rather manually add your initial business records, simply close the setup guide to access the main program window. You can always return to the setup guide window by selecting help from the menu bar and then setup guide. A setup guide learning topic is available that will help you learn how to use the features in the setup guide. Additionally, be sure to view the Navigating Sage 50 Anytime Learning Topic to learn how to access all features and areas of the program. So as you have seen, the Create a New Company Wizard is easy to use and will help you set up your Sage 50 company in no time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning Topic. You have learned how to use the Create a New Company Wizard to set up basic information about your company, define an initial business type and general ledger chart of accounts, set up posting and accounting method information, and set up your beginning fiscal year and accounting period structure. Thank you for viewing this Sage University Anytime Learning Topic.
Sage University is your gateway to a wealth of product and business knowledge, including complete payroll training from reporting to troubleshooting plus year-end procedures that help you get the most out of your investment. Sage offers virtual hands-on learning, enabling you to practice what you learn, real-time learning on specialized topics, and self-paced anytime learning available 24-7. You can either interact with a live instructor where you are able to ask questions or learn at your own pace. Best of all, you can attend all learning methods from the comfort of your home or office. Visit Sage University today to select the training that is best for you.